Hello everyone and welcome back for episode 11 of Let's Play Resident Evil. In the last episode we explored most of these caves that we're currently in. Found the little gear part that we need. We found Enrico, a member of the Stars Bravo team that said there's a traitor in the mix of stars. And we also fought a giant spider, which I did not enjoy to be honest. One little bit. We've bumped into a lot of hunters as well. Let's just see where we are again. See? Yeah, it's a dead end up there, isn't it? Right, so yeah, we need to go back this way now, if I remember rightly. I don't think there's much left to do in the caves. You don't really stay in the caves for that long. You stay in them in the remake a lot longer than you did in the original game. But it's still not a great deal of time. Oh. Yeah, that's it. So we need to take this out. Yes, I will take the shaft. Now I think we can combine that and that and examine it. And again, and again, and once more should do it. Four, two, three, one. I think that's what it said anyway. Right, we use that. I got the acid rounds out as well, just in case we needed them. Series of flashing buttons, press one. Yes, which button will you press? Four. Two. Three. One. Oh yeah guys, I hope you're all well. How rude of me to not ask you all straight away. But yeah, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to all my brilliant subscribers and any newcomers. Hope you enjoy this episode and thank you for taking the time to watch it. We're doing really well. Like I said in the last episode, I'm hoping to do a Resident Evil 2 stream and I want to get this series all wrapped up as well before Resident Evil 2 starts. Oh, hey up. Jill! Barry? Thank God you're Barry. safe. You too, Jill. The noise I heard brought me down here, but I didn't expect to find a place like this. Have any idea as to what might be at the bottom? There's only one way to find out. Oh, here we go. Still love the loading screens. Even the ones that aren't doors like that. Still managed to build that tension. Oh, it sounds like Lisa Trevor. What the hell is that sound? It could be a person. Jill. Oh. Go check it out. Yeah, send, send, send the lady there. first, Barrett. I'll stay here and secure our escape route what in a case something way. happens. Okay. I can't remember if there's anything else down here that we need to do. Oh, can't go that way. Oh, we've got an item box and a ladder. I don't think I need the crank now. We'll put it away. I'm pretty sure that we don't need the crank. He says. I'm probably going to regret that. Right. Here we go. Let's see what we can find. Be careful, Jill. I heard a door. I heard a door. Oh, God, it's Lisa Trevor. She terrifies me. Go around the opposite way and avoid her. Although, I should probably pick them up to be fair, shouldn't I? Just to be safe, a red and green herb's a good mix, so. Let's be careful of scary Lisa Trevor. Pick the green herb up, Jill, please. We're in a bit of a rush. Oh god, there she is. Can she follow us through this door? I can't remember. Where does this door lead to?
Ah, uh, yeah, this is what I need to do. Push this box on here. We're going to need that downstairs. Jill's got some strength in her, hasn't she? I will better push that big box. It's huge. Yes, we will start it up, and off it goes. Right now, let's go face creepy old Lisa again. Can't help but feel sorry for the poor girl, though. A woman now, however old she is. Let's hope she's not waiting for us straight through that door. I can do without any jump scares. We got one with the hunter in the last episode. Right, here we go. Where's she gone? Where is she, Jill? Be careful, there she is. Oh god, look at the poor thing. At least she's quite slow. Ah yeah, that's what we need, yeah. Uh... What? Ugh, that's what we get out of that box. Let's head back this way, Jill, please. See if Barry's still there. Oh. Barry! Oh, he's left us. Cheers, Barry. Thank you very much. Don't need him anyway, do we, Jill? We've got this. Yeah, if we've got to push this underneath that compactor, and there's some, that will break the box screws. And I believe there's a, f a f broken flamethrower or whatever inside that we need to open that last door. There we go. Well done, Jill. Yeah, there we go. I thought that's what it was. Climb down, Jill, please. Yes, I will take the broken flamethrower. Now we'll work our way all the way back up again. Back and forth, back and forth. Come on, Jill, get up the ladder. Does well to hold the um, shotgun and the ladder handle, doesn't she? Right, was this way, wasn't it? I think, yeah. She best not be waiting on the other side of the door for us. No doubt she'll be to the left because that's the way we need to go, so we'll have to run all the way around. Not close enough because I'm sure that's what I've got you. No? Oh god, yeah, I've got to go press that handle, haven't I? That was next to what the uh, pull the lever down. Completely forgot about that. Here it is. Oh, Jill, get to the lever. There we go. Oh god, she's right there. There we go. No, Jill, just go through the door, please. I think this is when you find like Lisa Trevor's like hidden lair where she sort of lives. Is hidden for the last 40 years or however long she's been down here. Yeah, here we go. Here it is, Lisa Trevor's lair. Desk is cluttered with old beat-up dolls and candles. Creepy place this is. Is there not anything else down here? Those are stacked up chairs, as you do. Oh, great. I'll go through some water. Oh, God, snakes! I don't remember them last time. 
Oh, go, Jill, go! Run, Jill! Ah, here's the rest of Lisa Trevor's letter. Aha! That's what I'm looking for. Yes, I will take the jewelry box. And that's what we're looking for, guys. The stone ring. A family picture and notes. My dearest Lisa, there's something written on the back. November 10th, 1967. Right, so they gave it to the mother first. Virus type B to Lisa. Positive but delayed fusion. Journal left by someone. I feel dizzy after that shot they gave me. I don't see mom. Where did they take her? She promised that we would escape together. Did she escape alone and leave me behind? I found mom, but we ate together. I was very happy. But she was a fake, not my real mom. Some face, but different inside. Have to find mom. Have to give face back to mother. I got mom's face back. Nobody can have my mom except me. I attach her face to me so she doesn't go away because mom's sad when I meet her without her face. From inside box, send her mommy, maybe true, mother there. The dog's just chucks not on the floor. Maybe true, mother there. Stone box hard, it hurts, steel rope in the way. Can't see mother because for stones. Right, okay. Anything else in here? Doesn't look like it. Oh yeah, there's a dagger there. Uh, I can't really be bothered to go back down for the dagger to be honest, what we got here. There's only a herb. We'll leave the herb. I don't need it. Come on then, Jill. Let's get going. And this takes us, guys, to somewhere where we went earlier in the game, which will explain how Lisa Trevor got there in the first place. It's that creepy old cabin that we found. And we'll end this episode here, guys. A bit of a shorter one. But what we needed that for, guys, I'll just show you quickly. We should have the other part somewhere. There it is. Combine them together, look. And there we go. That's what we needed. Right, let's get some ink ribbon out. Right, I just want to say a big thank you, guys, for watching. As always, I really appreciate it so much. I really do. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed it. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next episode.